Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how scientists are converting harmful cigarette butts into sustainable fuel. Scientists around the world are exploring new, innovative ways to reduce our dependence on toxic, non-renewable sources of energy, while focusing on discovering viable, renewable, and eco-friendly alternatives. One such clean source of fuel is biodiesel, which is made from biological elements such as edible and non-edible oils, animal fats and waste restaurant grease. Biodiesel is renewable as well as biodegradable, making it a much cleaner, eco-friendlier source of energy. However, the high cost of biodiesel remains the biggest hurdle in the way to its wider acceptance. The solution to this problem has now been found, cigarette butts. Previous studies have shown that adding additives like triglyceride triacetin leads to increased efficiency of biodiesel in the form of decreased air pollution and enhanced combustibility. However, producing triacetin is highly hazardous to the environment, which requires the use of a lot of chemicals and generates excessive toxic waste. Scientists from Cornus University of Technology, Lithuania, in collaboration with the Lithuanian Energy Institute, have developed a way to produce triacetin using cigarette butts, according to research published in the Journal of Analytical and Applied Pyrolysis. In our research group, we are working on the topics of recycling and waste management. Therefore, we are always looking for the waste, which is present in huge amounts and has a unique structure, said Sami Youssef, lead and corresponding author of the study. Cigarettes are made of three components, tobacco, paper, and a filter made of cellulose acetate fibers, and are a good source of raw materials and energy. Plus, cigarette butts are easy to collect as there are many systems and companies for collecting this waste in place, he added. Scientists used pyrolysis to thermally decompose the butts at temperatures of 650, 700, and 750 degrees Celsius. After conducting several experiments, the experts realized that the maximum amount of triacetin compound, 43%, was extracted at 750 degrees Celsius. Youssef said, all the products have real applications. Char, which in our case is porous and very rich in calcium, can be used for fertilizers or wastewater treatment as an absorbent and energy storage. Gas can be used for energy purposes. Last but not least is oil, rich in triacetin, which can be used as an additive to biodiesel to reduce the cost, he added. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.